The Ant Who Defeated a Tiger Once upon a time, there was a tiger who was king over all the animals in the jungle. He was hungry and was swaggering around the forest looking for something to eat. Just then, a tiny worker ant the size of a toenail was passing by in front of the tiger. The tiger thought it was strange that the ant wasn't scared when it saw him. What? How can it see me and not be afraid? Roar! The tiger purposely roared loudly to clear the forest. But, instead of being frightened, the worker ant just stood there and sniffed at the tiger. The tiger was furious when he saw this. Huh? You little... Who do you think you are, strutting around like that? You think I'm scared of a fool who thinks he's strong, terrorising smaller and weaker animals? No way. I'm not at all afraid of you. What did you say? You're not afraid of the tiger, the king of this forest? The tiger was very angry. He bared his scary white teeth and let out a roar. Ha 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 ha, that's hilarious. Is that the loudest sound you can make with a body as big as yours? The tiger got even angrier and bared his sharp claws. I can get you with just one of these claws. But the ant wasn't at all perturbed. Go on then, show me who's boss. In the end, the tiger couldn't hold his temper, put out his claw and began to try to catch the ant. But what on earth is going on? The ant was able to dodge this way and that between the tiger's claws, so the tiger couldn't catch him. The ant laughed hard at the tiger who couldn't catch him and kept missing. Ha 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 ha, it's not easy to catch me, is it? You say you're not afraid of me, but then why do you keep dodging this way and that? Stop that and come at me. You think I can't do that? Fine. Let's meet here tomorrow at the same time. What do you say? Okay, fine. If you don't come tomorrow, I'll assume that you're scared of me and run away. Understand? Okay. The tiger was embarrassed to fight with a little insect that wasn't even an animal. But when he thought about the ant walking around so conceitedly, he couldn't help himself. The next day, the tiger was the first to arrive and waited at the place they had agreed upon. Why has that little rogue not arrived yet? Has he finally realised how scary I am and run off somewhere? Just when the tiger was about to turn and walk away, a black animal, far bigger than the tiger, began to approach speedily from the distance. What? What is that? There's a bigger animal than me? No way! The tiger stared intently at the animal that was coming towards him. But it wasn't an animal. It was a swarm of ants. What? You little punk! You made a big noise saying that you're not scared of me. But then you're afraid to fight me on your own and bring all your friends? Ha 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 ha! The tiger began to laugh as though he'd won already. Then, suddenly the swarm of ants jumped all over the tiger's body. Then, shortly afterwards, the tiger began to roll around. Oh, that tickles! Where are all the ants disappearing off to? The tiger was rolling about because the ants were getting at his skin and making him itch terribly. Do I look like a pathetic insect that you can catch with one claw now? What? So you're tickling me now, are you? Oh, ha, 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 all that tickles. No, you're not pathetic. Please stop now. But the ants didn't stop tickling the tiger. Ants, please stop. I made a mistake. I surrender. Save me! 
Do you think it's okay to trust in strength alone and terrorize weak animals? If you keep it up, I'll show you who's boss again, okay? Okay, okay. The tiger who showed off his size and strength and terrorized others was put in his place by a tiny ant. After that, the tiger didn't terrorize other animals or show off about his strength anymore.